Hey everybody, this is just a little beach tour. Every once in a while in Nova Scotia you should take a day and just drive along the shore and enjoy the beaches, whether they be rock beaches or sandy beaches or big boulder beaches. This here is Riverport. And Riverport gets its name from the river that used to run out into the port. Well, I guess the port's still here. It's just not as busy as what it used to be. And if you head that way as far as you go, you'll hit England somewhere. Now, either people from Nova Scotia got a good sense of humor, or we just got a lot of ducks. And sorry, when I first missed that, if you look up in here, I think you got a good sense of humor. And maybe a lot of ducks. Now, hey everybody, in Nova Scotia we have all kinds of beaches. These here, uh, this one we're at now is called Richer's Beach. And it is a, what do we call it, a government owned beach. Uh, so they have an interpretive center, they have a campground down at one of the smaller beaches and it's probably one of the bigger well-known beaches. Now in Nova Scotia we literally have thousands of beaches. I think Nova Scotia has 3,700 kilometers of coastline so they're not definitely not all government. There's all kinds. This here's a going to be a sandy beach and this is just a little interpretive center they have that tells a bit about woodland birds and shore birds and different animals and the marshlands and the ecosystems of a, of a seaside. But it's probably one of the more well-known beaches in Nova Scotia. This is just a little pathway down to the beach and along the sea shore you get all these old spruces. It's wet here oh, 360 days of the year uh, and the moss is just hanging off. Now this beach in four or five days if it's 25 and sunny out this beach will be packed full of people, kids, families out enjoying the sunshine but right now it looks like according to the parking lot that we have the whole beach to ourselves and if you don't like big crowds and the hot sunshine uh, if I get out in the sunshine for more than 10 minutes I burn red as a lobster coming out of the pot so this here's a perfect day for me the beaches well you'll see as we come down onto the beach it's all ours Now, sorry about the wind noise if there is any, but she's windy out here today. Now the beach, we say not totally to ourselves, there's a couple other intrepid souls out today, but if you can see this is all a very, very fine sand beach. Uh, the whole beach is very fine soft sand and it travels down there. and all the way up there. Beach probably oh almost a kilometer long. And it's a fantastic beach and known for pretty decent waves when you get some surf rolling in. Not Hawaii surfing weather but still pretty decent waves. We'll take you down and look at the beach further. And if you're not from an ocean area, the sound of the waves are just gorgeous.
this is just a little spot it has a boardwalk and it shows in through here but the only grass that will grow in sand is this marum grass and uh, it helps hold the sand together gives a chance for the spruce trees and stuff to take root and the the difference in the weather is just amazing you come in here and it's tidal there's ducks out there swimming the water's as calm as anything and you just go out and break that point and the winds whistling and got a decent wave on it makes some difference in the weather and it's dead quiet now with this park here they do very good to try to keep people like me off the sand and the grass and they build quite nice boardwalks through the piece and they can let the they let the trees grow right out so you're walking on a nice easy walk and boardwalk but walking through the woods little fella sitting on the top of the tree just a singing if you're not one for sun tanning and sunny beach weather uh, this is about fantastic Nova Scotian weather to be coming to the beach because I'll guarantee you there's way more foggy damp days in Nova Scotia than there is sunny hot days I don't think he's paying any attention to us oh there he looks up a little folly eating the beach grass Yeah, this here's a little spot where we're just leaving the beach and uh, on the way in the parking lot is actually across the highway from the beach and you park you park behind me and you walk into what's well, basically just a big culvert but instead of water traveling through here uh, people travel through here and oh not much more than six feet tall but it goes through and up the other side to the beach oh kind of a kind of a unique little feature going into the beach